Dang. Alright guys, so today's uh, video is probably going to be like a vlog style video because I don't have enough, t a lot of time. I got about an hour and then I got to go pick up the kids and everything. So we're going to head, but it's a nice day first of all, it's a nice day. So we're going to head over to the storage and we're going to finish up the driver side harness. See if we can squeeze the passenger side harness in and then um, we'll probably bring it back here and start messing with the intake manifold and the uh, post mount bolts. If I, if I get to spray that as well. Um, I might spray that at the storage. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get we need get what we need. Let's go ahead and get what we need and head over there. I got a few tie wraps, um, the uh, split wire or split loom. Got some cutters and some gloves. That's all we should need. I also need tape, which I usually have tape everywhere because I'm an electrician, but um. Apparently I don't have any in here, so hopefully we got some in the car. But let's go ahead and head to the storage. All right, so we're here at the storage. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna try to get done today in this little bit of hour that I have. <clears throat> focus, focus, focus. All right, so I'm gonna get this painted. This is just that real cooling pipe. Um, just get this painted black, make it look okay, even though nobody will ever see it. Then I'm going to paint this mount as well, just a, a black. I'm, I'm going to use a wrinkle black because that's what I have for the valve cover. So I'm going to just use that. I'm probably going to hang this up with this little hanger right here um, and spray that. I'll probably leave this right on here and spray it. Um, yeah, and then once I get that done, I've already showed you guys this, but I'm going I'm I'm to loom this up. I did find some tape, so I'm going to just loom this up, stick that in. I didn't bring my knife, so I can't cut this yet, but I might be able to cut it with those uh, those uh, side cutters. We call them dikes, but yeah, so we're going to try to get that done. Yeah, so before you say anything, we are not shooting for perfection here. This is going to be behind the block, so I just threw it on there to let it dry. And that's that. So that's the only coat I'm going to put on it as well. Like I said, it's going to be behind the block, so that'll be that. Let that dry. Yeah, I sprayed it by, spray painted my hand a little bit, but I'm in a rush. So got that done. Uh gonna do this post mount right here and then be done with that hopefully no oil spray gets on the car <laughs> not like it matters So here we have the wires, right here. So I don't think this wire, this split loom, the skinniest one, I think this is eighth inch. Don't think this will fit around here. Check and see. Ah, barely. So we'll use the next line up for this main piece up into here and into the cabin. We'll use this, this is a quarter inch. I'll try to get you guys a quick close up. Can't really see it. All right, so I'm just pushing this in. Trying to do this with one hand. Pushing the one side in and then it's kind of folding over itself. So, pushing in. And it's folding over. All 
All right, let me take a look here. So if you look, I got it just up until right there. And then I got it loomed all the way back to where I needed to be. You see it stops right there and then the loom breaks off. So now I'm just gonna try to push that into the into the um, bay enough to where it gets through both of those metal pieces just so it protects it. All right, so I'm inside the bay. I'm using the phone on my light. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm using the light on my phone, but you can see how far I push the loom in. Um, this is good for right here. You know what I mean? It comes in the bay and um, I'll tape that up at the end, tie wrap it, and then I'm gonna leave that be. And then um, that's good for me. I don't, I, you know, I really don't care about all this wiring up here. Maybe one day I'll, I'll clean it up, but uh, not today for sure. All right, so it is five o'clock. So, um, you know, I just had an hour to work with today. And honestly, I used about 30 minutes. Well, I had about an hour and 30. I used about 30 minutes eating and watching some Hunter, Hunter Toon. <laughs> so go check him out if you haven't seen him. But so this is what I got done um, in a little bitty hour. Um, I did get a second coat on this, on just the post mount. I might actually leave this here for a while just to make sure that's dry. I may uh, put that back on, put that on tonight, maybe a later part of uh, today's vlog. And then uh, I just threw that one coat on here. So, I mean, this might not be dry, uh, pretty dry, but I'll probably leave that here too, just for an extra hour, um, two hours actually. And uh, let those dry. Then if we come over here with the harness, this is where I'm at with the harness. Um, got that in, split loom in, still got to cut this. I'm going to cut a line into that, tuck that in into there, and then put it in like that. Um, so this is where we have with the harness. Most people put tie wraps on these, that's why they don't like using these, but I, I figure, you know, just put a strip of tape every once in a while and it looks good. This is not going to be seen anyways. So got that up to here, just taped up this little ground extra part. Then, um... This is uh, this is for the fog lights and stuff. Got that down. I don't know what that is, power or something, but got that down to there. Kind of got to fix this joint. Um, probably leave that as is. And then, uh, yeah, I got that back. So I still got to do just the, just the um, headlights. That's still just taped. And I kind of wish I didn't tape it because um, this, so I got three different sizes. I got this size, eighth inch, then I got quarter inch, and I think this is like uh, three quarters. But this, this, this eighth inch, it, it hardly covers anything. It, it hardly covered the um, two wire uh, fog light with tape on it. Without tape, I know it'll go on there. So that's what I got today um, as far as storage wise. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to upload this or uh, take it back to the house. I should probably take it back to the house. But, um, yeah, so that's that for here. So once we finish the headlights, we can put the fender back on. I also want to see if I can take these fog lights just straight down here like this to the bumper. Or will the fender smash it right here? I don't know what i got to do so far. You know, maybe tuck it down there like that or something and make sure it's long enough should be long enough i'll watch some youtube videos and see how they did theirs but uh yeah that's it for today and then i'm gonna get some uh tie wraps with mounting holes and just you know mount that right there and we'll be golden all right so uh let's get out of here get the kids and uh either get to the house or i'll catch you guys on the next one peace what up, y'all? I ain't even gonna lie, it's like uh, four or five days later. I'm gonna try to wait, wait for some uh, warm weather, but it just ain't happening. So we are on the way to Home Depot to get some clamps or something for the wire harness on the, um, going into the driver's side and passenger side. Um, I've seen people use like some like <clears throat> coated clamps and uh, 
think those are like a dollar each. I might use those. I might use some just some tie wraps with the uh, mountain strap on them. Because it's going to be under the fender, so it's no big deal. And um, I'll have wire mesh on mine, so it won't rub through the wire mesh. So we're going to go there first and see about that. We might go to my parents' house to get a, uh, a tap. My tap set is at my parents' house um, for the ground. Um, just to make sure that's clean, cleaned out. Um, and then we're going to start working on the uh, passenger side, I think. We're going to work on the passenger side and just see where we go from there. I might start putting the knuckles and stuff in the front end on. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, go with the flow here and let's uh, head to Home Depot. All right, so I got a little bit of 220 and I'm gonna just sand off the the surface. All right, so as you can see, I got that the bare metal right here. It did look like these ones. You can see the difference in the shiny part. So now I'm going to go through the middle with a tap tool just to make sure the threads are uh, clean as well. Here's the tap tool. On focus. There it goes. Ah! Tap tool, whatever. So I just take this, put this in the drill. And uh, drill that through the hole. As you can see, thread it right through. And you can see the rust on the tap tool actually. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and do all three of these. Just in case I need something from the inside. You can see that won't come out. All right, that's that. Now I can bolt this in with my 10 mils. All right, got my little bag of 10 mils. I just got this off Amazon M6 uh, by 1.0, I believe. I, I bought a bunch of bolts and stuff off of there. I still need to do this one, but I just want to make sure this will thread in. Yep, see that thread is imperfect. Now that, and I know it's tapped out, so that's perfect. And it also threads in way easier. You can see I, I can push that all the way in with my hand. Tighten down all the way in with my hand. Check this out. Uh, focus see that's all the way in so it just cleans up the threads a lot so it's a, definitely a good investment all right so I'm just using the headlight to figure out the distance between the two connectors for the loom um, so I'm gonna just plug those in I loomed it up to where pretty much they need to separate and then I'll use the uh, eighth inch loom I use a quarter inch all the way up and then I'll split them right here and then uh, I use eighth inch loom for this and this, these two pieces. So that's what I'm going to do now. I got the quarter inch all the way up to where it needs to be. So I'll, t I'll cut that right here and then uh, tie that off and then I'll use eighth inch on the rest of the way. Damn, the, the lighting is better than I thought in here. But uh, So we finished up the um, driver side pretty much. Uh, I just got to kind of um screw it bolted in bolted on there make sure everything's good but all the actual wiring is done so let's check this out so um as you can see i cut the hole in the grommet like right there i may silicone that and that'll um seal it again but you can see i just cut the hole in the grommet and pass that through so this still closes up so now i can connect my door back which is this bam now that's on all right, so there's my power. Um, so that comes here. We'll hook that up somewhere here. 
Boom. Then that goes onto the actual clean one. That's the ground. That'll go there. Um, these are my, this is my fog, fog lights and stuff. So that'll go down there. Boom. My headlight. So I guess go through this hole. But I got those loomed up as well. I mean, they, yeah, they're going to have to go through this hole. Let's get that through there. Get that through there. Boom. So I'll bolt that up. You can see that's the loom for the headlights. I can't see it on my screen. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's the loom for the headlights. Yeah. And um, we'll get that going. All right, so with your tap tool, you're gonna get a bit. You want to get a bit to start the hole off with, and then then so you drill your hole first, and then you use your actual tap tool. So I'm gonna put two over here. Just maybe one like right here. Then one uh, right here somewhere maybe. Then I'm gonna go back with my tap tool, which where the hell did that go? Here it goes. Now I'm gonna use that little the small tap tool. And that'll actually put the threads in here. Let's get one of our bolts and see if that worked. I think if the metal's too thin, it might not work, but it looked like I got a few threads on there. Uh, yeah, perfect. So you can see that. That's the hole I just made. You can see the bolt won't come out. It goes in. Threads in easy. Threads back out. Won't come out. Boom, there we go. So that's how you use your tap tools. I don't even know if this is gonna fit through the, uh, the let's, let's get the um, actual plastic. Uh, Rom it. All right guys, we are officially finished the driver's side. Damn, wish the lighting was better. So we got that here for our fogs, comes up. Got our ground right there. All our grounds. Headlight goes through here. I'll probably grab a grommet for that soon. Um, and there we go. Got our first strap. Second strap right there. And into the car. So that's that. Like I said, I might silicone that right there. Close that up. Put some silicone on it. Call it a day. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to get those new straps. So those insulated ones, the difference, if you look right here, the plastic did split from the, uh, the bolt being a little bit large. So um, I might get the insulated ones because I believe those ones were metal right there. But yeah, that's that. So we're done here. We're about to start on the other side. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to get because I only got like quarter inch. I only got like a five feet or quarter inch left because I, I thought I was going to be able to use more eighth inch but yeah so we'll see but um, my main goal right now is to just get that in the bay uh, label everything and uh, get that done and also I'm going to uh, take this apart because I'm going to only run the headlights and the, and the um, headlights and the horn through here I'm going to leave all the rest of that stuff inside so uh, let's do that so I'm going to take all these clips off the uh, fuse box and that will get me to the connectors on the inside of here. As you can see, let's see, get out of there. There we go, so we can disconnect all of this and uh, push the harness through. Now uh, label your connectors, I'm not sure if they're different or not, but um, they look all to be different, but I'll label them anyways. 
All right, so here are the um, fuse box connectors. They are all different. If you look, two prongs up top left. Uh, we got five prong, four. So we got seven prongs at the top here. We got three prongs and three prongs, but they're two different connector types. So we're all good. And then you got this small one right here. And that tab is on the left side, so make sure you pull that out right. Don't just try to yank it out. It does have a tab on the left side right here. Uh, let's see. So you just push that tab in. Push that. Well, you can't see it, but push that tab in to get it out. And then you got your fuse box out now. Um, I'm going to deloom something. Uh, I guess I don't. I might take this shit home because... Um, I, I want to get this all straight and deloom this, and um, I don't know. I just don't want all this dirty shit. So I might deloom it now to get it pushed through, but I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see when we do it. I'm gonna get this trash bag off and get this uh, grommet off first, though. All right, guys. So I had got this grommet off, just cut it off, cut this little hard piece right here, and got to that. And then I went inside and uh, went to go and reach it and. Definitely gonna have to take the dash out, so I mean, that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Whatever it is, what it is, I'm gonna take the dash out. And that's how I want it done, so that's how I'm gonna do it. I don't, I'm definitely not gonna do that today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the dash out another day. All right, guys. So I said I wasn't gonna do the dash. I actually left and came back, but um, kind of got carried away. I kind of started it to see where I would what I could do and then ended up here so that dash is out it's back here oh zooming on accident shit wrong way all right so dash is out um to get to the wire harness I had to take the uh this is the heater blower I believe this is the air conditioning box or whatever right there so yeah i had to take all that out to get to this right here that's the actual hole that the harness goes through pulled all that out and got all that hanging here's all the lights and stuff pretty much that'll go through but i'm trying to kind of this is the um the actual uh, side that the en engine harness will hook up to so I'm loosening that up all the way up so I can get it to come over here towards the middle of the car because that's where, where my engine harness will come through the middle of the car right there so I'm gonna I'm take I'm just unlooming this to get um, some extra length out of it because it was loomed all the way to like right here so it only had like you know a foot of play now it has like all this a play that I can stretch it across. I'm gonna even, I'm gonna take this back even more. I'm gonna go back all the way up to here, then I'll pull from here over instead of like here over because all this was loomed together. So, yeah, got your ECU plugs. Well, here go my fuse box plugs. Fuse box, fuse bo box plugs right here. Um, ECU plugs are buried under here somewhere. There goes the ECU plugs. So I got everything apart. Just got to clean it up and everything. But I'm done for the day. Yeah, it's just crazy. Done for the day. This took me about two hours just to get the dash off and everything. Everything um, down. So I'm going to go home and work on the um, intake manifold. All right.